when I dream, I dream, dream of, I dream of everything I want to dream about, I dream of everything I want. I loved the almost like cyclical nature of this. And it was interesting that it was a circle. So we, we got kind of like a circle of life, a repetition um, to it. And I also felt like there was like an alien-like or alien-like quality to it where it felt outer-worldly and slightly distancing, but then there was something also very organic and womb-like to it that gave it like a deep connection. And it kept on feeling like, something I've I've seen before or touched and it's so brilliant to almost get to see what's lurking behind that veil and it feels human but it also feels set apart um love this song also I thought it was awesome and the, the mood and the tone of it really matched the visuals I think you had a lot of really cool visuals and um a lot of these spinning motifs um, paired with like the repetition of the dialogue or the lyrics or, or however you, uh, want to describe it. I think, um, I think it was really interesting and it really brought that idea of like going around and seeing it again and seeing this dream and this like continuous thing going on. I think that was really, um, cool, or at least that's what I took away from it. Um, yeah, this was a really cool short, um, really cool camera techniques um, made it really visually dynamic to watch and it came out to be just like a really well-rounded short in this artistic infographic almost the worlds flash across a white disc that rotates and then eventually we see hands and opening closing hands and fists and then we see feet and then the language sort of shifts in this piece um, it goes from English to another language. I'm not really sure which language that was. And then you have the placement of the hands and feet seems synchronized or choreographed to the music. And the only time you see a full person in this piece is towards the end when you see the child for the first time. Um, and so then it makes me think, oh, is this circle that we're seeing sort of from underneath and it's lit in a way that we can only see when an object is placed on it and only really the silhouette of that object is the symbolic of motherhood because now it is reminding me of what you would see in a womb or how you would view it, ultrasound, ultrasonic sort of image. Uh, especially when you see the, the young child, it automatically hit right then and there. And even when you think of ultrasound images, certain things are highlighted like oh look at the foot oh look at the hand um these are certain things that it's just like everyone relates to when they think of the forming of the the person within the womb and then when I thought of the poem the dream the dream and like is this a mother speaking to her unborn child this is a dream that she's always had as a, mo a woman um, to, to be a mother, to, she dreams for her child to live a great life. She dreams for her child to be healthy. So that's kind of what started to come to mind. It didn't come to mind immediately. Um, but I think once I saw the child, it, it did change and shift the way I viewed this piece. There is great movements, you know, like between, uh, the, 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 these hands and these feet that we see in this circle, it was a simple idea, but it worked pretty well. And uh, the animation was very well executed as well. It was a nice animation, something really cool to see, honestly. And I think the coordination between the hands, movements and the legs and the feet and everything, uh, really kept uh, the, the same pacing as the music. So the, the two, they were uh, very well coordinated between them. So overall, it was a very interesting short with uh, absolutely amazing music. I really loved the music as well, but I also loved the animation. It grabbed my attention right away with the visual and the hands coming out. Um, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. I, I just, I don't know how you guys filmed this, um, but it kept me guessing. It kept me thinking, is this a record spinning, a drum? 
because at one point it looked like some of the hands were literally drumming. Um, is it ice with people wiping the fog from the ice away? Um, I don't know. It was really interesting visual. It just kept me guessing, you know, what is this and who are these people? And the music I thought was interesting and it kept a great pace to this short and also created the tone. I really enjoyed this effect. The hands and the feet and face against this glass-like view circle. The lyrics are deep and I like the mixing of languages and the words playing around in this specific um, region that's a circle and it's, you have to, you are constantly entertained uh, understanding the lyrics and how they play out in this piece. It was, it is very visually appealing. So, so, so intriguing. Um, not only just the setup of having just this kind of circle, but this like frosted, you know, kind of not quite foggy, but like you can't clearly see through it. And then the way that the music built and how they flowed from one language to the other I thought was so so interesting and so so well done and it was just like it was just really intriguing I thought it was it incorporated what you were seeing really well with what you were hearing which kept me really engaged the entire time um I thought like I said I thought it was just like really interesting I haven't really seen much like it which made me want to keep watching and made me want to, you know, like I said, pay attention and, you know, be really present.